Zeke the robot has powered to Earth to learn all about our animals. Let's join Zeke on his adventure as he discovers big cats like these amazing lions, the terrific tigers, and cheeky cheetahs. Strap on your explorer boots and hold on tight as we venture into Zeke's animal world. Now Zeke, did you know that the cheetah is highly recognizable among the large cats of Africa? These animals have excellent eyesight, which helps them find prey during the day. They also have black marks, which run from the corner of their eyes down to their mouth. This is to keep the sun out of their eyes and to help them while they're hunting. The male cheetah weighs around 65 kilograms, Zeke, and their tails have black rings around them and can measure up to 85 centimeters. That's almost as long as three rulers. <laughs> Cheetahs have yellow fur, Zeke, with round black spots that helps to camouflage them when they're trying to catch food. Their slender, long-legged bodies are built for speed, and their spotted coat and small head and ears make this animal one of the most popular. Cheetahs are solitary creatures, which means, Zeke, that they like to live alone. Yes, these big cats also like to make a lot of noise, using a unique bird-like sound when they're excited. However, unlike some other big cats, cheetahs can purr, but they can't roar. When cheetahs see their prey, they creep up behind it as close as possible before they attack. The cheetah is hard to see because its spotted coat blends with the tall, dry grass of the plains. Watch out, Zeke, as cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. They're so fast, they can reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. That's about three times the speed that the world's fastest man can run. Cheetah cubs are born in groups of about two to six and are born with very faint spots. As they get older, their spots become darker and they get a long mane on their neck and shoulders that eventually disappears. Baby cheetahs are blind for about 10 days after birth and the female cheetah doesn't leave her cubs until they're 18 months old. The cubs stay together for several more months, usually until the female cubs are ready to have cubs of their own. Yes, Zeke, male cubs stay together for the rest of their lives in order to protect the females. These big cats are generally found in open savannas. Cheetahs like areas with wide land and tall grass for them to hide in. Cheetahs are carnivores and like eating a variety of animals, from rabbits to small antelope. While other big cats like to eat at nighttime, cheetahs prefer to eat their prey during the day. Well, Zeke, let's see what you've learnt about these big cats. You know they're incredibly fast and that they have spotty fur and black rings around their tails and they're carnivores. I hope I've answered all your questions on cheetahs. Although these big cats are often called the king of the jungle, Zeke, lions are not found in jungles. Most lions live on the flat, grassy plains called savannas. These big cats have strong, compact bodies and powerful legs, teeth and jaws for pulling down and killing prey. Their coats are yellow, and adult males have long, dark, shaggy manes, Zeke. The bigger the mane, the stronger the lion. When lions hunt, they rely on claws as well as their sharp teeth. Lions' claws are found in their paws, 
and they come out when they see their prey. They use their claws for gripping and tearing the flesh of their food. A lion's life is filled with sleeping and resting, with the big cats spending 20 hours just lying down and relaxing after they've eaten. Did you know, Zeke, that a lion chasing down food can run the length of a football field in six seconds? Lions hunt antelope, baby elephants and rhinos, rodents, reptiles, insects and even crocodiles. During hunting, smaller females chase the prey towards the center while the larger lionesses capture it. Being smaller and lighter than males, lionesses are faster, and this is why, Zeke, the female lions catch the food. Lions are the only members of the big cat family that live together in groups called a pride. A pride is made up of three to 30 lions and has lionesses and their cubs, along with a few adult males. The pride has a close bond and is not likely to accept lions they don't know. While the male lions stay with the pride only a few years, the lionesses stay together for life. Lion cubs begin hunting at 11 months and remain with their mother for at least two years. From the time they're born, cubs have a lot to learn, Zeke. They can nurse from any adult lioness in the pride, not just their own mothers. A lion's eyesight is five times better than humans, allowing them to see their prey easily and in the dark. They also have very sharp hearing and can hear predators from over one and a half kilometers away. Oh yes, Zeke, it does look like they're having fun. Lions are the only members of the big cat family to have males and females that look different. Also, the roar of a lion can be heard as far as eight kilometers away. Lions roar to scare off other animals and defend their territory. Let's now look at what you've discovered about these kings of the animal world, Zeke. Male lions have shaggy manes and a very loud roar. They live in a large family called a pride and make their homes in grassy plains. Now, Zeke, while jaguars and leopards look a lot alike, there are ways to tell them apart. Jaguars are heavier and have much shorter tails than leopards, while their black spots are a lot bigger. Most jaguars have tawny colored fur with black spots, but some are just all black. Scientists believe the coloring of these big cats helps them hide from their prey, breaking up the outlines of the forest or grassland, Zeke. While they can run pretty quickly, this is not an important skill. Jaguars have incredibly powerful jaws and sharp teeth and can usually kill their prey with just one bite. Although they prefer thick forest or swamps with a lot of shade and water, jaguars have been known to hunt in open areas. These big cats prefer to stalk and ambush their prey at nighttime instead of chasing it like cheetahs and lions do. One of the biggest and most powerful big cats in the world, the jaguar is very fond of water and loves to play in shallow pools on hot days, much like you, Zeke. With four cubs generally in a litter, jaguar cubs remain in the den where they were born for up to six months, with their coats woolly with spots much like the adult jaguars. Jaguars make their dens in caves or canyons and often raise their cubs alone. 
You're right, Zeke. These big cats are becoming an endangered species because hunters like to kill them for their beautiful soft fur. Jaguars are carnivores and like to eat things like wild pigs, deer, and sometimes even freshwater fish and smaller animals. Aren't they cute, Zeke? Jaguars have retractable claws that come out when the big cat is stalking its prey. Like other big cats, jaguars have eyes that are adapted for night hunting. They see less detail and colour in daylight and have better vision at night. OK, Zeke, let's recap what we've learnt about the jaguar. We discovered these beautiful animals are an endangered species and that they live in thick forests. We know that there are generally four cubs in a litter and that they have very powerful jaws. That's right, Zeke. It's now time to look at the tiger. These big cats are recognised by their reddish or white coat and black stripes. They also have very strong teeth and jaws and soft fur and thick, long whiskers. Tigers have the amazing ability to see at least six times better than humans at night. And you're right, Zeke, there are many different types of tiger, including these white ones. A tiger's front paws are big and strong to bring down prey. The front paws of a tiger have five toes each and their claws only come out when they're hunting. A powerful hunter with sharp teeth, strong jaws and an agile body, the tiger hunts alone, usually between dusk and dawn. Tigers are generally meat eaters and in the wild prefer pigs and deer, while in some parts of Asia they also hunt rhinoceros and elephant seek. A tiger can eat over 45 kilograms of meat a night. Compare that to 400 hamburgers and imagine how full you'd be. These big cats are generally found in open grasslands. They also have been known to live in tropical rainforests. They can live in almost any climate, as they only need shade, water and food to survive. Did you know that each tiger has its very own stripe pattern, Zeke? Researchers who watch tigers can identify them by looking at the stripes. Tiger cubs don't hunt on their own until they're two years old. A female tiger called a tigress generally has a litter of up to two or three cubs, Zeke. Tiger cubs often play fight with their siblings, which helps them to build up their strength and speed. Adult tigers are fiercely territorial and don't like other animals in their space, often leading to fights between the big tigers, Zeke. Among the big cats, only the tiger and jaguar are strong swimmers, with tigers often found bathing in ponds, lakes and rivers. A group of tigers is called an ambush, and it's very rare that these big cats are seen in packs, as a single tiger can sneak up and surprise its prey much easier than a group of tigers can. In the wild, tigers can leap as high as five meters, twice as high as your back fence, making them one of the highest jumping mammals in the world, Zeke. With now less than 2,500 tigers in the world, thanks to poachers, they've been placed on the endangered species list. 
Let's see what you've discovered about the tiger, Zeke. These big cats have very recognizable yellow or white coats with dark stripes. They also like to hunt alone and have two to three cubs in a litter. It's now time to look at the leopard, Zeke, one of the most beautiful of all the big cats. Well known for its beautiful fur, the snow leopard has a soft grey coat with black spots. Its tail is covered in fur, as is the bottom of its paws, for protection against the cold. Leopards hunt at night and use their big eyes to see in the darkness. They also use their ears, not their sense of smell. Leopards stalk and pounce Zeke, but they don't usually chase their prey long distances. They grab their prey and kill it with a bite to the throat. Leopards are carnivores and will eat any meat they can find. Usually monkeys, baboons, large birds, fish or antelope. You're right, Zeke. That doesn't sound too tasty. Leopards that live in dry grasslands are a lighter colour than those found in forests. In the thick rainforests of Asia, even black leopards can sometimes be found, although this is very rare, Zeke. The leopard is the champion athlete of the big cat world. Most big cats can pull five times as much force as the same weight of human athletes but the leopard can pull seven times as hard. It would take three Olympic weightlifters to win a tug of war with just one leopard. Like all cats, leopards like to stalk, pounce and chase. Have you ever seen a house cat creep slowly after a bird? That's stalking, Zeke. A quick leap and a grab with the claws is a pounce and the chase comes if the prey gets away. Leopards are found in the Middle East, parts of Asia and Africa, and they live in more places than any other big cat. While these big cats like to hunt alone, male leopards sometimes stay with the females and help raise the young cubs. Leopard cubs play by practicing to catch prey on their brothers, sisters and even their mother. It's a good way to learn how to survive when they get older. Zeke. The mothers are very protective of their cubs and don't like to leave them alone very often. The dangers they face include being eaten by other big cats. The fourth largest big cat in the world, the leopard is an animal that remains endangered, with poachers continually killing the animals for their skin. <laughs> Of all the big cats, leopards are the best at stalking prey and can live without drinking water, getting the moisture they need from their food. All they need, Zeke, is some grass to hide in and hunt. Leopards usually rest during the heat of the day in bushes, rocks, caves, or even up a tree. Let's see what you've learnt about leopards. We know that these magnificent animals are endangered and have beautiful soft fur. They also have dark spots like our other big cats and they like to hunt alone. Now, Zeke, we can turn our attention to small cats. Small cats aren't a lot different to our big cats, but there are some differences. 
One feature that separates small cats from large is their throat structure, which means the small cats can't roar. Instead, they meow and growl. Another difference is that small cats feed while in a crouched position, and big cats lie down to feed. All cats have keen sensors, which they need to locate and stalk their prey. Like human Zeke, cats have forward-facing eyes, but they can open their pupils three times wider and see in the dark six times better than people can. Eyes and ears aren't a small cat's only tool, Zeke. They also have very sensitive whiskers on their lips, cheeks, chins, eyebrows and forelegs that give them information about their environment. The puma is the largest of the small cat species. Much like big cats, these animals are powerfully built with large paws, sharp claws and legs, Zeke, to give them that great jumping power. Small cats also have a strip of leathery skin across the top of their noses. On big cats, this area is covered with fur. When resting, small cats tuck their paws beneath their body and the tail can wrap around. Big cats, however, place their paws in front of their bodies and extend their tails straight out behind them. Another difference is the cat's eyes. A small cat's pupil closes to an up and down slit, while a big cat's pupil closes to a circle, much like humans. The thick legs of the mountain-dwelling Palliser's cat allows it to climb easily on rocky slopes and, just like big cats, these animals have different ways to survive and hunt for food. Much like their bigger cousin Zeke, small cats are found in habitats ranging from icy mountains to steamy tropical jungles to scorching deserts. Since the penalties for hunting big cats have increased, people have begun hunting the small cats for their fur. Small cats are just as vital to our wildlife as big ones, with conservationists working to ensure that these magnificent creatures continue to survive. Small cats and big cats also have hygiene in common. Licking their fur is something most animals of all shapes and sizes do. Yes, Zeke, now we'll check what you've learnt about small cats. They don't have the ability to roar and they have smaller claws. They have a leathery strip of skin across their noses and they eat in a crouching position. I hope you've learnt a lot about our big cat, Zeke. See you next time.